NADMA has taken steps to build capacity and increase efficiency of the process of damage assessment and needs analysis, which is used in response to disasters and emergencies. Acting Disaster Coordinator Sylvan McIntyre says, the damage assessment and needs analysis, which needs to be done within a certain period of time, would inform the process of recovery while deciding whether local or international support is warranted. The agencies and sectors that were responsible for doing the assessment, pulling the information together and forming a macro assessment and giving a financial overview, that in our opinion of the agency was not well conducted. So it drove the process of us trying to get together the people whom we thought were less experienced, less involved, less trained or little trained in the process. We saw that weakness and so we drove to correct it by calling that two-day consultation which was supported by the USAID after. McIntyre explains that day two specifically dealt with senior public servants, notably the permanent secretaries, exposing them to the National Disaster Plan and the Damage Assessment and Needs Analysis Plan. And the second day was to have, for us to have chat a new course to bridge the gap and a way forward which we agreed upon and we will do a follow-up in the future and um, having realized that the timing and um, the availability of the senior persons were not quite within what we would have wanted we intend to do a follow-up whereby we can explain the, the entire process so that they themselves will be more comfortable in the event that we have some kind of crisis that they can deliver on the expectations. Harlem Brizan, Director of Statistics and Chair of the Damage Assessment and Needs Analysis Subcommittee, who leads the process for NADMA, highlights on the importance of helping stakeholders understand their rules. Damage Assessment and Needs Analysis, DANA, it's a, it's a very, very critical component and it, it, it impacts the country in how fast we can rehabilitate because you need information right to see what is the, what what was the impact of the hazard or the disaster to measure it and to to, to see what is the cost what what does it cost to the country so that we can then lobby for assistance i am Gerard joseph for gbn news